the presentation I'm going to give is a very short one because it's something very easy. It's just a small tool to actually help you uh, to take whatever application and add a predefined customizable Excel export to it. So it's technical, it's very simple, um, and it's actually something I have made already back in V6. Uh, in that case, it was Excel, uh, and as from 8, there is a the same concept, but then with another library which gives them XLSX, with the difference that Excel actually gives 64k lines you can export. XLSX allows you to export up to a million lines, which becomes more usable for large uh, databases. Um, so, what is it? There's a small module, you can find it uh, published in the OCA reporting engine uh, repo. Uh, it's currently published for 11 and for 10. Um, it's published for 8 on the own repo. So it's at this point in time uh, not too easy to find someone in the OCS interested to review 8.0 modules. Uh, and it should work on 9 because basically the 8.0 module is exactly the same as the 10.0, except that we replaced Cook near P uh, by Adu. That's it. So the 8 will work on 9 or the 10 will work on 9. <coughs> um, what I said is the successor functionally for what actually I made uh, a few years ago in uh, Auto 6. Um, but it's having XLSX support and it's actually uh, the syntax I learned from making reports with the old module and I made a more simple syntax. So it's more advanced uh, in the new version. And so as I said, you have it from 8 uh, to 11. Okay, um, what does it do? It's simply, um, I would say, first thing, the biggest part of the module just uh, hides you from the complexity of the XLSX write module and just gives a very normal syntax with a whole set of predefined formats. With these formats, you can say, well, actually, I have uh, my Excel report and I want this Excel report to be a character field or a Boolean field and I want it in bold, italics, underscore. Uh, you can also do the format to say when it's numeric, it's conditional. What is conditional is a conditional field and the number turns uh, negative, it will become red. If the number is positive, it will become uh, normal, black and so on. So what it does if you use it is um, it's easy. In the sense, you don't need to look to the syntax of the library. And also, uh, your look and feel, if you write like, for your customer projects, 10, 20, 30 exports. The look and feel of all these exports will be exactly the same. Uh, because you will use the same border lines, you will use the same fonts, you will use the same colors, uh, it's going to be consistent. So that's really uh, what it does. It also uh, adds uh, Excel header and footer. So if you actually print from Excel, you will actually automatically uh, have the header and footer. So you can put page one out of three, and you will actually put the date, timestamp, and so on. And you can everything in your module, you can use what is available in the Reportix Less Helper, but then in your custom module, you can take it, inherit everything, and add your own customization. So if your customer wants all reports in pink, you can actually change it and make all pink uh, uh, formats. Um, for the cells, there is a simple Python dictionary. You just define the dictionary, you can keep it pretty empty. And if you keep it empty and you say actually you have in Odoo a date field, then the Excel will be a real date field. If you have in Odoo an integer, Excel it will be an integer. If you have a float, it will be a float. But you can override it. So you can say, well, I'm going to store my date and I will just want to store it in Excel and the character field, you can override it. Um, we can actually work with multiple sheet reports in Excel uh, just by actually adding more dictionaries in a list. We'll actually come to an example. Um, you don't need to predefine your report. So normally if you, in Odoo, you generate a PDF report, you have to predefine it. In this case, you can just add a button. On the button, put an action of type XLSX and it will come out without any <coughs> other XML. So actually it's just a yeah, reduced set of lines to code. So it goes very fast. Um, and then actually, well, we already talked about this, we also support cell formulas. So you can actually make your Excel and then say, well, actually I have a sum of numbers and at the end you can say, well, 
now I want to do a sum if uh, if this is a customer and he is in this criteria, I make a total. And it's a formula, which means that after the Excel, you can just type in it, make simulations, and the number will change because it's a formula. And that's um, really it. Now it becomes technical. Uh, all you need to do is actually, the key thing is, you need actually to make a Reaper program with this call, uh, get worksheet parameters, and that one is a list of dictionaries. And we'll come to an example. I can move to full screen. Uh, let me see over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is actually the main call. Uh, in that one, you actually specify a jet uh, generate worksheet uh, method, which is the method you actually put on your object, which is just the logic. Because basically, in the logic, you need to see, well, I actually call these and these objects, I pass them onto the Excel, and then actually it will do the rendering. Um, there's a parameter like the worksheet name. If you put that one, the Excel sheet will get a name. The title, which then actually gets a title. Um, the list, what we typically see, we work with a template, so you can, let's say you do an export of accounting entries. Uh, there is a module which I'm going to show. Does the uh, export of accounting entries? The template which comes takes all fields which are available in standard to do of, of accounting entries, but then most customers don't want it. So although you have a big list uh, template, you can then just well actually I want from this. A list of fields, it takes out of the detection these fields in the order and then in the pl displays it. And then in an inherited module, you can add or drop columns. And then actually, you have in there a the dictionary defining the cells. And I think we now just do a couple of small examples, show them at least. <laughs> um, on the Yoka repo in V11, you will find a small module which is called Reporting Statistics Helper Demo. So that's a very simple example. Um, another one in the ECHO, in the OCA, is the Account Move from Report XLS. That one actually does an export on the accounting entries, where the module has a full template and then actually a limited set of columns ex uh, export, which then you can customize it to have more columns and you can change the order. And then actually a more complex one is the OCA module for the uh, uh, financial asset management, which actually then has uh, multiple worksheets, assets you acquire, Active assets in depreciation and exits you actually uh, you, you removed from your system. So these are the examples. We have only a few minutes, so I will not get any further than this one. That's the most simple one. So um, let me see. I think this is the right one. Okay. So the demo module which is published on the OCA, what it does, it just takes partner record, it adds this button. And it's a more technical demo, so it's functionally not interesting, but what you would see with this button, um, you click on it, you generate an Excel, and the type is generated, you have the, the thing here, but what we have is we have here left centered the name of the customer, we have detected he is a four contacts, so this is an integer, um, this is a boolean, the customer flag is on, and this is a formula. So look into the formula, if we go into the Excel, we just see it's uh, if C4, C4 then it becomes yes, otherwise no. So that's a simple example, but actually just solves the power of the library. You can do it without it, but with this library, you develop such a thing in a couple of, let's say, in 30 minutes if you're used to it. Now going to the source code, then I need to go to, uh, I think, reporting engine. Uh, here we are. So here we are actually in the OCA reporting engine repo, looking into the source code. And then I'll uh, quickly show the, the code. So we have this wanted list. The fact that we saw 
name, number of contacts is a customer, and then is customer form formula, is because we just say, well, in this order, you have to display it on the screen, and then these things are just <coughs> in the dictionary. For instance, what you see is customer formula. We say the header, we had this header, customer just know. Then the data, we say there is a type formula, and the formula is actually render customer formula. And this we need to calculate on the fly. So if, for instance, you would put this report on a list of par partners, then you would pass like a 10, 20, whatever, thousand partners to it, and each time you would render. So not going too far in it. You see the dictionary here, or list of dictionaries. If you put in this return three, four, five dictionaries, then you get multiple sheets. And then we actually see here this method which is the method you have to put on your REST partner object. Um, here actually, going to this method, I'm using a couple of native uh, functions from the XLSX writer um, uh, library. Like I put it to portrait, I said that I do a fit to page so that it's nicely formatted. I set my header and my footer. This is actually uh, part of the lib, of the reporting so uh, lib. Then I actually gonna set the column width. At that point in time, it's gonna take the dictionary with the cells and there was a width parameter. And it will say this field is becoming 20 characters, 30, 40, and so on. And then the only thing we do is we just um, run through the partners because we actually have, have to pass to this method the objects we wanna look through. And then if you run through the partners, you will actually write the lines. If you look to the, again, to the call specs, then you will see that basically for every entry, uh, we have uh, a header column and a data column. And then we say actually, I want to just render the partner which I pass as an object, dot child or the length of. Um, yeah, I think, I met my uh, 50 minutes. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions. So if you have questions, then uh, I can answer. Or you can come to a booth and we yeah. can go uh, offline. Sorry. Yeah.